Hello fellow drifters and welcome to Culture Drift. We bring you raw, authentic experiences and off the beaten path adventures. We are currently in Bali, Indonesia, so join us as we explore this beautiful island. And don't forget to keep on drifting. Good morning guys. We are in Shangu, walking through our lovely garden, next to our pool. Um, yeah, just heading out for breakfast. Got maybe a mission to do as well. Morning, salam pagi. Yeah, I just went looking for my sunglasses to put them on, to wear them, because it's a bit sunny. Uh, I couldn't find them. So, gonna try one shot on the way here which I want to go to the shop anyway uh, ask them see if they have uh, my sunglasses so I'm a bit half, half asleep as well I haven't had my breakfast yet but we're going for breakfast as well so I want to take you to this breakfast place I'm not sure if I've taken you there yet but it's only like 50,000 amazing like whatever you like breakfast um so yeah gonna go there that was kind of the whole point in this little mission um uh, but i wanted to go to the shop anyway to get breakfast for tomorrow so there we go so we're gonna go to that shop as well uh and pick up the laundry so yeah all kind of in the same area just have to navigate this road again uh, with all the tooting. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, just gonna go mini mart just here and ask them if they got my glasses and pick up some stuff for breakfast for tomorrow. All right. This. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so that's a negative on the um, sunglasses, unfortunately, but a positive I got this energy in. Uh, for tomorrow, mix it with uh, porridge and it gets you through the day. Well, at least part of the day. Okay, now head into garden, which is just there. Garden Changu. Ah, ATM first. Actually, ATM first. I think this ATM is quite new. Like, I don't remember it being here last time. It's very convenient for us. As you know, ATMs can be quite a hassle. Uh, but here's one right here. Oh, I just about put my sunglasses on, dude. Oh dear. So used to doing it, you know. Uh, wow, such a shame. Uh, I think I have lost them. Couldn't see them at home. Obviously, they're not there. We did go... So last time I saw them, we were at Sonoa. Um, yeah. Then we went to this shop here, actually, as a new, like, surf shop. I don't think I would have left it there, though. I do remember, like, being in the car from Sonoma and being like, ah, I have to put them on my head so I don't lose them. But uh, yeah, I don't know, but I lost them. Um, I'm gonna try if they're open to go in there. Oh, they are, maybe they got a sign out. Yeah, but actually, strangely enough, like while I was in the, or when we were walking along in Sonora, I was like, ah, they were really scratched because if you maybe do remember, um, a while back, or I lost like the case for it, the little soft case. So they've been just getting scratched and scratched and scratched. And I was like, ah, oh, maybe I can contact Oakley and get some like replacement um, lenses, you know? So I was thinking all that in the car actually, as we walk, went past the Oakley shop to here from Sonoa. And now I've lost my sunglasses. So it's a bit weird. Um, well, maybe it's all meant to be, you know, maybe it's just me actually losing them so I have to buy new sunglasses yeah it was just not really an expense I wanted to shell out right now but who knows they might be at home they might be at home or it might be just a good excuse to buy some new sunglasses which I really did want actually cool guys well I'm gonna try uh in yeah the surf shop I don't know if they're gonna be open maybe they are maybe they are and then we're gonna go right across the road here here, here, uh, have some breakfast. Nice one. Okay, guys, no joy there either. 
So yeah, I don't know. You're either at the place or I've just lost them completely. I think we kind of looked back on some videos of like I should, that I should did there. I didn't have them on my head. So I think I put them in my bag. And if I put them in my bag, but I was really, really tired that that night. Like I remember just coming home and like being a bit unconscious, to be honest. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go to this place, have some breakfast, maybe start off the day in a bit better way. Yes. Okay, so here at Shango Garden, they've got these new breakfasts, all for 50,000. They got Creole Brush, uh, Holland Bacon Toast, I think is the one I'm gonna have. Asha had something last time, I can't remember. Well, they got all these, they got all these. These, 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 these. I had last time, I had... I think it gave our toast. But I was quite um, envious of Asha's bacon toast. So I think I'm gonna have that. Yes, only 50,000 as well. And this is the place. Gonna have a smoothie as well, a smoothie I think. I'm gonna have this one, cocoa butter, cocoa peanut butter, banana, cocoa powder, chocolate sauce, peanut butter, condensed milk, condensed milk and milk. Whoa. Okay, so I kind of moved here because there was a bit of sunlight and also the uh, speakers are a little bit further away. So yeah, hopefully I'm all right here. Check out this, check out the little view out here. Nice to see that um, you know tourism hasn't taken over completely, and there are still rice fields around. Um, yeah, it's a strange one, isn't it? All this touristy stuff versus tradition. What do you think about it? You know, a place like this, and it's very empty. Um, I think like they're gonna. Yeah, usually I, I I've seen them quite full before, but obviously it's breakfast. It's Tuesday, I think. Um, maybe it's a Monday. Might be a Monday. If I don't know, it's probably a Monday. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's strange to have places, you know, very quiet. Um, and then obviously, you know, the, the rice field's right next to it. But I, yeah, like I said, they are quite busy, I think, in the evenings, weekends. Generally busy times. I guess that's why they do this 50,000 uh, deal, just to get people in. Obviously, I've just spent fifty thousand on the on the on the breakfast, but then <laughs> the shake that I've ordered is also fifty thousand. So there you go; they've probably made their money there, just on the drinks. Cool guys! Wow, yeah, and it's a really nice place to hang out. You know, like wooden, like these kind of look like old traditional panels, maybe from I don't know, maybe from like a uh, like a cupboard or a wardrobe, but they may actually be traditional um, housing as well. Not sure. And they got a stage here where they do have like live music. Then they got live music tonight, actually, they were telling me. Okay, I am half asleep and I'm off the coffees now. This is my third day, no coffees. But I have, was, have been up since 5 a.m. But yeah, okay, so I'll just wait for the breakfast. I'll show you what it's all about. And then something may happen. Okay, guys, check this out. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa, okay, so it's like, Cocoa and peanut butter. Wow. You can actually taste the peanut butter. Quite often they say that they put peanut butter in things and yeah, there's just no, you can't really taste it. But this, you definitely can. You can see there's chocolate in it. Really nicely decorated. Even got a bit of cocoa on the top. Yes. Wow. Okay guys, it's come. Look at that. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's what Asha had before. Uh, it looks like something I'd probably be jealous of. See, like real thick toast, amazing bacon, eggs, hollandaise sauce, tomato lime, if you like, and a bit of lettuce. I remember last time when I had the thing, there was dill on it. You can just smell it as well, it's so fresh. And then dotted even with, um, I guess, some sort of pesto. Okay, I'm gonna chop this up and then taste test it with you. One second. Well, you can see it's like really thick bread. Okay, and give that a go. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna, I mean, I've made a big mess of it. 
Look a lot prettier before. And we can get through that. Uh, and then something. There's a lot happening today actually. Um, cool. Nice one guys. Gonna get through this. And then I guess walking back and things. So see you in a bit. Okay guys, that was, can you see it? There, 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 there. Changu Garden, uh, right on the corner of this road and this road. I don't know. Uh, I think they kind of advertise it as a pizza place, but it's got everything. Uh, and all that was just 100,000. I say just. The breakfast was 50,000, just ace. You know, the, the drink, hmm, I would say 50,000 for a, for a smoothie is maybe uh, on the high side, but obviously these things balance out. So yeah, it was good. Uh, I'm gonna come back here in a bit uh, to get the laundry, but I just had a thought, maybe I'll get a haircut. What do you think? Okay, I think I need one. This way actually, this way, this way, this way. Yes, heading into kind of more central, uh, central Changu, if that's the thing. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, just gonna go this way for a bit. I think I saw like a hairdresser or thing. Hopefully they're not too expensive. I've seen some around for like a hundred thousand, which is really good. But then maybe like in the more central bit up there. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, guys. Well, I'll try and find something, and you'll find out whatever I find. Don't want to go too far. I actually want to get back and do some work and stuff. This is a sunny day. It was a sunny day all day yesterday. I kind of, like it was really hot, really sunny. Barely any cloud and I was inside basically the whole day. So it's quite nice to kind of get out a little bit. And yeah, I treat myself to something nice. Yes. There was one down here somewhere, hairdressers that is, or a hair cutter man. Uh, just about to give ah, here's one razor gangs, not dangerous, but okay. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, just down here, no one here. Well, don't know, guys, don't know. Place looks interesting, maybe. Aqua health as well, you need a colonic irrigation. Maybe. Oh, I just want a haircut. Honestly, in some places there's like haircut after haircut after haircut after haircut. After haircut. And then some others you just, there's nothing. I don't get it. I think I'm gonna cut my losses on the haircuts. Oh, that's some nice artwork. Very uh, basket esque, if you like. Um, yeah, cut my losses on the haircut. It's hot. Uh, sad to say I've got to go do some editing for you guys. Yay! Literally all I do these days. But you know, got to get that content out. Check out this palm. Ace. But you know, it's a great place to be, to be honest. So much nicer when the sun's out. It's a bit, uh, not so great. Anyway, we're going. Sure you don't want that colonic? Okay guys, so the guys I just, just turned up. Da -da -da -da, so I'm gonna go in there. Gonna go in there. It's not quite as cheap as what I've seen. So I've seen before like a hundred. This is 130. You know. Yeah. Here's what it is. I'm sure, you know, it looks like a really nice place. So I'm gonna go in there. <sighs> just get rid of some of this at least. It's feeling a bit fresher. Uh, shaves and here cut open. Da -da -da -da. These guys. Razor Gang, just down here. Go check them out, what do you think? Doesn't look too much different, but it feels a little bit different. But yeah, it's, it's only really to tidy it up and kind of uh, fix the sides and the terrible mess that happened in Seminyak that I was still sporting. So yeah, glad that that's kind of 
fixed a little bit. Uh, yes, particularly because I'm, well, obviously I'm filming myself every day, but I am um, doing some other videos that are kind of a bit more informative, a bit more like just in the villa uh, that you'll probably see eventually. Uh, one second, I might just jump in here because I really want some sh new shorts. Nice one. Check out this place there. Hello, hello. Yeah, check out these guys. Okay, well, uh, I might. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna run away. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep looking in loads of shops. And actually, I wanna go do something productive today as well. Okay. Might just go in this shop and then I gotta run away, gotta run away, gotta run away. Lost in paradise sounds like me. I think I've already said that somewhere else. Okay, gotta get out of here. <laughs> uh, looking in too many shops. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, just gotta go home, be safe. Let's go, just it's not even that. Wouldn't mind buying something if, if, but they, I don't know, they never really seem to have what I'm looking for. I guess I don't really know what I'm looking for. I just have an idea. But that idea doesn't seem to manifest in reality quite often around here. Which uh, equates to me walking into every shop looking for something that doesn't exist. Hello! Hello! Have a good day! <laughs> you too. Yes, yes. It is a good day. It's a sunny day. Yeah. Started off not so great, went better, now it's okay. Getting things done, people, getting things done. Uh, laundry before anything else. Okay, guys, so I got the uh, laundry back. Um, funny, like when we dropped it off, uh, well, I woke her up. <laughs> I dropped it off. She goes like mid afternoon and she was just having a nap. Couldn't find her and someone woke her up for me. But, uh, so yeah, when I asked her then, she was like, oh, 20,000 kilos. Like, oh, oh, okay. We were kind of desperate in a way, although we have actually uh, spent a bit longer picking it up. So we weren't as desperate as what we thought, maybe. But now looking at it, it looks like they've only charged us 15,000 a kilo. Which is a bit more like it. Like, I'm used to like uh, 10 to 15. You know, I mean, it, neither of these prices are actually that much. But, you know... I think because we'd used them before, like previous, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I mentioned it in another video as well. Uh, they only charged us 10,000 that time, you know. So, yeah, it's more principle than anything else. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I guess that saved me money. And then I actually bought two, like, Nasi, oh, Nasi um, parcels off them anyway. So, you know, they still got the same amount of money, more or less. Actually, I probably spent more in the end. Um, so, like, the laundry is in total. In total, which I think is 1.5. Yeah, it's like something like 60,000. 60,000, I think it's like 5 kgs or something. I don't know, off the top of my head. I'm not sure. Um, and then the... Nasi Pasal, which I've shown you before, uh, which, you know, like my, I, I call them the, the triangles or pyramids, which is basically like a mix of um, rice and noodles and a yam, which is chicken, you know, maybe a bit of egg or um, a bit of spice or something, chili maybe. And each one of those, like, you know, uh, I wouldn't say a full meal, hence I got two of them, uh, but they're just 10,000, you know? so. 60p or so which is good gosh it is hot it is hot today <sighs> quite annoying though it's always the days that i'm kind of not i'm kind of i don't know because i know that there's going to be bad weather coming i just i know oh, wow i got the bird usually when there's those of those birds flying around although they were flying around all, basically all day this morning as well um Means it's gonna rain soon. But I guess they're just hanging out. I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Usually I know that bad weather is coming. I also know that I have to keep doing videos. <laughs> Never ending cycle of 
video and living life. How do you find that balance, people? I don't know. Back in the garden. I don't know where Asha is. I've texted her a couple of times and she hasn't replied, so I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Uh, for now, I think we're going to leave it here. Right now, I just have to edit, I think. Well, I'd probably have a shower. I only really just went out for breakfast and it ended up into half a day of everything. Anyway, look. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hello, guys. Uh, it is some hours later. I found Asha. Hello. And she has her Lian Lian, which is her kite. Uh, we're heading down to Batabalong. What? Ahead. <laughs> Once enough. <laughs> uh, but down to Butterbalong down there, which is a beach, if you didn't know that, Butterbalong Beach. But at the beach, there's like warungs kind of perched on the rocks. So that's where we're heading for some food and for uh, sunset. Yeah. And I think Asha's gonna do her kiting. Her Leon Leon. Leon Leon. Hello! Hello! Hello. 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 <laughs> So Layan Layan is actually like a good karma because it makes people smile wherever you go. Uh, so this is like kind of a, a fun for everyone around because Indonesian people really love Layan Layan. Yes. yes they do. Yeah they seem to really react. Uh, very happy whenever they see them. International people are very confused and their faces are like, I don't understand. But uh, Indonesian people uh, seem to be awakening their inner child. So, yeah. there you go. That was the point. Yeah, I mean, you know, foreigners quite often don't understand. Am I correct? Am I right? Am I right? But the story of this Layan is that I, uh, I bought it for myself for my birthday because uh, it was super uh, windy in Seminyak and I saw other people doing the lions over there and I thought it was like a great um, intention to be lighter, to be more fun, to be enjoying, to be more colorful uh, yeah so that's like an intention for my birthday year this year uh, yeah that's it, give yourself a present <laughs> Sun is almost set. We're almost there. Sun is almost setting. Uh, we're gonna get down there, 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 there. I haven't been to the beach today. Me uh, So it'll be nice to see what the sea is saying. It's just coming up just now, guys. Hold your horses. Oh, Ash is Ash is keen on the vlogging today. Hang on. No, no. Oh no, no. Okay. Okay. And here we are. Wow, yeah, the beach is really busy. Not sure if Asha doing a kite is probably a good idea down here. So many people. It does have a tendency to fall on people as well. Check out the sunset though. As you can see, those people doing their uh, Instagram story YouTube sunset some things he says yeah it's a nice sunset actually should go all the way up don't like that cloud there though I'm just trying not to poke people in the eye with the um, with the kite makes me it reminds me of the feeling I get when uh, I see a lot of umbrellas My eyes just start fearing for their life. Okay guys, there goes the sun, there goes the sun, um, which means there goes the light, which means there goes the video. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna probably stop. Ah, oh, it doesn't look too bad actually. As long as I'm facing. As long as I'm facing the sunset, it's not too bad. Dasha, we got her kite flying. Um, but yeah, I might just stop filming for now until we get back up there somewhere to one of the Borangs uh, for food, which will be later at some point. But yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the sunset again. I'm just gonna do the thing. I'm not trying to hurt anybody or kill them or maim them. Okay guys, well, we're up. Well, I'm up here. Uh, Asha's stuff is here. Um, she's, today seems to be a day of losing things. Because um, she is, yeah, she lost like this big kind of topaz, uh, topaz necklace. Uh, she was running around with the kite down there, so she's gone. Yeah, just with her phone, phone torch light to uh, try and find it on the beach. I mean, it is quite big, so she may be able to find it, but the tide is coming in. She was running around probably where the water was kind of, where the, yeah, where the water's now coming up to. I don't know, yeah, because obviously I lost my sunglasses this morning. Uh, today's been a strange one, kind of. One of losing things. Let's not lose our minds, eh? Uh, hopefully she's all right. Can't actually see where she's got to. Oh yeah, I can, think I can see her uh, phone light down there somewhere. I'm gonna order a drink here at least. Um, yeah, sure. sure. This is down here somewhere. <laughs> Oh well, well, I wait for her to come back anyway before ordering too much food. But yeah, I'll definitely get a drink if the lady ever comes back. I don't know. Okay, guys, uh, that's just on the phone. But I thought I'd show you this. What is it you ask? What is it you ask? Uh, great question. It's a lychee iced tea. There is actual lychee down the bottom there. Um, I should got a ginger tea. With real tea, so it's like tea. It's with some light cheese in the bottom. Interesting. I wondered how they were going to do it. Uh, we've also ordered food. Uh, I guess when it comes, I'll let you know what it is. But I have, I seem to have ordered the most expensive thing on the menu. Interesting. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> ah, or ever, maybe. Uh, but yeah, when it comes, I'll show you what it is. But where are we, you ask? Where are we? So we're on, so this is like Bata Balong So you can see down there. And that way. Borangs. We've actually got a bit quieter. Oof. Smells very smoky though, somewhere. Might be a fire somewhere. Don't know. Um, but yeah, it uh, got a lot quieter just because as the sun goes down, people obviously dissipate. Um, but we are at Middle Warang. Uh, which is the middle we'll run. We haven't actually been here before. Uh, maybe I'll link that above. Um, yeah. I don't think we had much here. Ah, I actually had a chocolate pancake last time and I had some sort of chocolate milkshake thing, I think. So, yeah, we thought might as well try it again. For food, for real food. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they're all pretty cool here. The decor and stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very like boho type thing. I mean, that's generally a lot of body actually. It's just boho. Boho everywhere. Um, cool. Well, when the food turns up, I'll let you know what it is. Uh, this tastes great. Very refreshing. Like, oh, something's here already. Nachos. Oh wow. Very quick. Yeah. Okay. Cinema mm. Okay, so it's here already. I ordered. Hmm. Okay. Uh, nachos. Beef nachos. So my beef nachos have turned up. Um, yeah. Okay. They look cool. I don't know why they cost 95000 Why the most expensive thing on the menu? But it looks good. They look good. I mean, nachos in quite a while. 
was sort of one of my, um, I think, comfort foods when I was in London. You know, very quite simple to make, but like tasty. Mm. Very good, actually. Very good. But usually, like in like Mexican restaurants, or you know, well, Mexican restaurants that have been in in European countries or New Zealand, it's usually actually the cheapest thing on the menu, uh, nachos. But it's good. And check it out. We got the corn chips. We've got melted cheese. Uh, I think it's mozzarella. So, you know, it's kind of like a Mexican Italian blend with some olives. Wow, I haven't had olives for a long time. Uh, beef, real minced beef, guacamole, like salsa, tomato, mozzarella, olives, beef. Strange enough, as well, it's not very spicy. Thought so, Indonesia, you make it quite spicy. I just got um, some tacos there. One, two, three, three tacos. Tacos look really good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. All the ants do. Ants are getting all over me. Okay. Yes. I'll do one more mouthful for you, for the camera. Oh my gosh. Look at the cheese. Mmm. Awesome. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna keep eating. Catch you in a bit. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, the food is gone. The money is also gone. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. It was good. It tasted good. It was good. Yeah, it was yummy. It was yummy. Uh, nice view. Now it's got dark. Now we're heading home. Uh, for me, I think total, I think they must have added tax to it or something. So in total, mine was 115,500. Uh, I'm not sure how much Ashes was. 110. 110. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, a bit pricey, a bit pricey, but I guess you're paying for the view, the stuff, the etc. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for the video as well. Uh, I'll just round it off. Cheers guys for watching. I uh, hope this gave you some sort of value to you, for you, to your life. Uh, cool, I'm now walking in the dark, can't see, so I have to go. Um, maybe you consider subscribing, so maybe I can buy myself a torch. Um, cheers guys, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, keep on drifting.